What's up everybody, this is Derek here again. Uh, it's been about 35 minutes of researching, figuring out if the Insignia actually charges at 7.5 watts or not. And I think I figured out a way to determine that. So in the last video we were trying to figure out if this adapter is just terribly inefficient or if it's actually charging at 7.5 watts. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the same adapter and the same cable, same micro USB cable, and we're going to plug it into this guy, the um, fast charger that is not, the hypercharge that does not charge your iPhone at, uh, it charges it at 5 watts. So we know that for a fact. So we're going to find out what the power consumption is. So here's the iPhone 10. we'll throw it on there. It uh, will hopefully start to charge. Get a message from James, that's cool. So it is charging, and let's take a look at the power consumption. So the power consumption for this charger that is charging the iPhone 10 at 5 watts, we'll see if we can zoom in without losing the focus, is about 8.6, 8.8, 8.9, 8 somewhere around there. So basically, it's taking, and again, there are inefficiencies in the, the on the charge itself too. So you're, you're losing energy here in the inverter, or you're losing energy here in the batteries to the inverter, the inverter, this thing, uh, the wall adapter, and then the wireless charging itself. So that's how you're, you're spending basically nine watts to get five watts into the phone. Um, so we know now that this charger is not terribly inefficient. It's actually working as designed. It's outputting the appropriate amount of power. So what we'll do now is we'll take it off this guy. We'll put this over here. We'll plug it back into the Insignia wireless charging pad. We'll put it back on here like that. And then we'll take another look at the consumption. You can see we are at 7 it's moving up right now, so we're at 7, 8, 9, 10, and we're going to top out probably around 10.7 to 11, somewhere in the 10.6478. So it is. So this, and the significance of that, as we continue to zoom the wrong way, the significance of that is that this Insignia wireless charger, here we go, the wireless charging pad here, um, this guy, which is about $40 at Best Buy, and it might be cheaper online elsewhere, um, I didn't really check, but this guy is $40 roughly, and the Belkin and the Mophie, which are the two that Apple's advertising, are $60. So here you're paying $40 for fast charging on an iPhone 8, 8 Plus, or X, whereas you're paying $60 elsewhere. And then the $15 to $25 chargers on Amazon, uh, those will charge at 5 watts. Is it worth a difference? That's your call. You know, is it worth paying 20 bucks more to get 7.5 instead of 5? Well, that's you. But I just wanted to bring you this video to tell you that this Insignia does charge at 7.5 watts, which is the faster charging, it requires 11.2 on the iPhone. And if you're after a 7.5 watt charger, that's, uh, it's, it doesn't slip. The cord's reasonably high quality. The, the um, charging brick is reasonably high quality too. Wish it used 3.0 instead of 2.0 for quick charge, but it doesn't really matter for this application. So I just wanted to let you know that that's pretty interesting actually. You know, for $20 cheaper, you can get a 7.5 watt charger. And if you want that for your iPhone, then you should, uh, you should consider buying this. One other thing, I'm running out of time before I run out of uh, space is that this, don't use this in a bedroom because this light stays on, it's blue, it's pretty bright, and it'd be annoying. But if you're not gonna use it in a bedroom, then you're fine. So, again, if you're doing that, then you probably wanna look at a charger that is um, that uses a dimmer status indicator or something that you can cover easier than a ring. So thanks for watching, uh, subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys in a future video.